Now to the men's singles final. Fung Permati, if you remember, tied at 14 all, called for one point to decide it, and in doing so, guessed correctly, beat the world number one Peter Gay Christensen, Sun Jun, eliminating the former Olympic champion Paul Eric Hoyer Larson, setting up this men's single final. Fung, the five seed against Sun Jun, the two seed. Interestingly, Sun Jun has never beaten Fung Permati. He leads here as we join the action. 5-2 in set one. Just trying to play it a little bit too tight to the net. Just wary of Sun Jun's court coverage. Just trying to play those drop shots, not only tight but also steep and at pace. Try and break Sun Jun's rhythm. Oh, what a tremendous smash. And that's the change of pace from Sunjun. Plays a net shot, goes back slowly, then accelerates up to the shuttle. And if Fung Pamadi had have retrieved it, he would drive off that back leg and run straight in. Lovely the way he also keeps his head still, so he can focus on the shuttle. Well, Sun Jun very much in command of this match at the moment. The difference with Sun Jun against Fung Pomadi, he's biding his time. Peter Gader yesterday in the semi-final against the player from Chinese Taipei didn't do that. He was trying to go for those big smashes too early on in the rally. Quite definitely Peter Gader yesterday. It was really all or nothing. He hit a large percentage of winners. But if the shuttle came back and then just persisted with trying to hit the lines and invariably made the error. That's uh, landed in. Nice smash. Good little deceptive net shot from Fung Pamadi. That's the one. You can see Sun Jun had to check. That meant he was slightly late to recover for the next one. Pamadi burying it up the centre of the court. Yeah, that's landed in. What has Pamadi got to do here, Anthony, to change this around? Because the momentum is very much with Sun Jun. Certainly is. It's a difficult situation for Fung Pamadi. Both the players are patient players, and I just think that Sun Jun's got the edge, not only on that aspect, but he's then got the acceleration to take the half chances. I think Fung Pamadi's just got to remain patient, keep the shuttle in play, but try and capitalise a little bit on Sun Jun's bad shots. He can hit the shuttle down very well, and also we haven't seen much net play. His net play yesterday against Peter Gaylor was very good. So I expect he might try that aspect of the net if he continues to have this sort of deficit of points. Done. Certainly a very patient player from Pomadi. Slicing across the feathers to bring that one down steeply. Yes. There's the net play from Fung. 
the key is getting to the shuttle early so he can spin it from the level of the tape. Now it's landed in. A tap on the head from Fung Pomadi. Annoyance at himself for leaving that one. Misjudgment. Deceived. Oh my goodness. Well, I think maybe Sun Jun does have a point. A little chuckle from the crowd here in Copenhagen because we have two big television screens. And they could the crowd here could watch the replay. No question about that one, folks. That was clearly wide. A lot more positive in that rally from Pomadi. Certainly did a negative clear from Sunjun, just lapsing in his length. You can see Pomadi hitting that inside the rear double service line. Despite Sunjun's scrambling abilities, couldn't get his racket on it. Jun varying the pace. He's thundered down so many power smashes, that time choosing to play the little drop and really catching Funk Pomadi off balance. Very thoughtful rally. Catching, as you say, Jill, Funk Pomadi off balance by twisting and turning him, making him hold and commit himself. Just long. Well, Sun Jun, who hasn't recorded a victory over his opponent so far in his career, has obviously approached this match with such professionalism. He's got it all worked out, knows exactly what he wants to try and do. Certainly has been preparing for this moment was upset with his performance really in 97 when cramp got the better of him he said that that's really forced him into exceptional preparation for this year's world championships forced to play the high backhand one of the rare occasions you'll see Sun Jun play the high backhand from the rear court 
quality deceptive stroke from Fung Pramadi. on the line and Fung Pomadi is one of the most economic movers around the court and even he couldn't reach that one the court needs some attention but what we've seen from Sun Jun is a change in tactics he started off this game at a very high tempo trying to outspeed his opponent and then as Fung Pamadi started to pick up the fast attacking play of Sun Jun, we saw Sun Jun change his tactic. He then went into almost running mode, making sure he hit an exceptional length, making sure he got the shuttle into play and that's what we didn't see from Peter Gator yesterday. When the shuttle started to come back, Peter Gator carried on the same relentless attacking play. Sun Jun's now adjusted to the situation and that's why he's staying in this commanding position. Twelve four opening game. Yes. And that's certainly what I would like to see Fung Pomadi do more of. Take command of the rally, dictate the pace. And when you're 4-12 down, you really can't afford to make these sort of unforced errors. Pomadi really isn't threatening the net at all. Played a net shot and then backed away. Gave Sun Jun the opportunity to play the spinning net shot. Yes, yeah, so fast. Thundering down the smash. And it's now game point to the number two seed. The attempted trick shot from Sun Jun. The net cord not helping him on the kill. Gave Pomadi the chance to whip the shuttle over his head. Exquisite little drop shot to finish the rally off. It's not just where it lands. Look at the speed with which he hits it. Really crisply struck. That's wide. Six,
the idea was good. Played the previous shot to Sunjun's forehand, then wanted to clip it down to his backhand side. He made the error, and it's the second game point for Sunjun. Oh, no! I don't believe it! How on earth did he control that net shot, Sunjun? Just amazing. The net cord. And then he flicks that cross court for the winner. And Sun Jun, the opening game, 15 6. But that opening game in just 22 minutes, very much in Sun Jun's favour. And Anthony, what can Fung Pomadi do? Well, we saw some really gruelling and grinding rallies towards the end of that opening game. And if pomadi has got the endurance, that's what he needs to do. He needs to break Sunjun's rhythm. He needs to try and take the sting out of Sunjun's legs. If he hasn't got the legs to do that, though, then he's going to be in a little bit of trouble. He's going to have to start to be a little bit more aggressive, try to get on the net a little bit earlier and stay there and try and dominate it. Although... The problem facing him is that exceptional net reply we saw at the end of the opening game. Sunjun is so good from the front of the court. Well, this is not the sort of start that Fung Pomadi would have wanted. Certainly gave it enough height to try and make it fall vertically down. Didn't follow through with the shot. Oh, it's just wide. What a pity from Pomadi's perspective. Totally deceiving Sun Jun. Sun Jun thought the option would have been a straight defensive drop from Fung Pomadi, but he went for the outright winner and only missed it by a whisker. My word, what an angle and what deception. It was all set up by the change in angle on the defensive shot to get that weak lift. And then as Pomadi was retreating to base, Sunjun leaping up, clipping it down. Well, that's a desperation shot, really, from Fung Pomadi. Wasn't on balance. I think that shot perhaps highlights that Fung Pomadi has felt the pace of the last few days. A very uncharacteristic attempted smash. Oh. Yes, even so, Pomadi won that rally. And the way he was moving forward towards the net, that was looking like a very tired man. Certainly was. You can always tell from the upper body posture of players when they start to feel tired. The first thing to go is when they lunge, their upper body starts to lean over forwards because they're just concentrating so much on their legs that they sit, tend to forget about the upper body as well. Well, he bided his time. 
waited for the right opportunity. Second time in the match, he's forced the overhead clear on the backhand of Sunjun and then buried the winning smash. So he's got to try and perhaps force Sunjun to hit it high from that area of the court. Well wide. And of course, though Sunjun looked totally dominant in that opening game, winning at 15-6, you have to question how much that will have taken out of him physically because he was so quick onto the shuttle. Quite definitely, Sunjun is a player that never wins games particularly easy. So this, of course, is his sixth match in the individual type in individual championships. He also played every match bar one for the Chinese in the Sunderman Cup. So he could well be feeling a little bit tired himself. He's done well. Fung Pomadi has got back on level terms. From love five down, it's five all. And now he's gone into the lead. Just taking his foot off the accelerator, Sunjun. And Sunjun asking the umpire if he can tell down. I'm a little bit surprised that Lasia of Indonesia the umpire allowed this it was quite obvious to me that Sunjun was beginning to struggle physically looking a little bit tired and it's interesting Fung Pamadi is back on court waiting to serve and that's sending a clear message to the umpire Oh, that's perfect. Very Two clever. very high clears. Certainly was. Just made sure. Got his opponent to the back of the court. And then doing what I'd like to see him do more of. Taking control of the net. Getting the lift. Putting the smash away. Oh, that's amazing. What a shot. Eight points in a row now for Fung Pomadi. First smash at the body. A weak defensive block from Sunjun, and that is an exquisite push. I think Sunjun had everything covered, but not the rear forehand corner. Sunjun will be very wow. relieved to get the service back. Not many players in the world can win eight points in a row against Sunjun. himself out of trouble playing a backhand it was absolutely amazing no mistake on the winning smash he really is forcing Sunjun to lunge so deep into the front energy sapping lunges
Well, this is absolutely amazing. Fung Pomadi not happy. Sunjun asking for the court to be mocked of the perspiration, but quite frankly, I think that's a tactical break. Certainly is. Sunjun staying, going to the side, taking a drink while that's happening, but Fung Pomadi staying on court, trying to give a message to his opponent that he's not happy. I still would like to see Fung Pomadi perhaps take a quick drink, though. Well, I think the message more is to the umpire to say, look, I'm fit and why are you allowing Sun Jun off court? But what a transformation in the momentum of this match. From Love 5 down, now 9-5 up from Pomadi. Yes force the weak left by the quality of his spinning net shot. I think what we've got to see now from Sun Jun is a concerted effort to play more aggressively. He's not winning the grinding battle. Really is playing into Fung Pomadi's hand, so I would like to see Sun Jun up the tempo, try and outspeed his opponent. Finally, Sun Jun moves his score along. Gets off five. And that will be a relief to the Chinese number one. As he has injected pace. Sun Jun taking the shuttle earlier. Lovely little shot this. Pushes off the right leg. One step and then clips the shuttle down. It's wide. Well, an absolutely crucial couple of rallies coming up. of the speed of Sun Jun. I know he lost the rally, but to reach that shot, not only reach it, but control the net shot as well. Quite definitely good positioning on the strokes from Fung Pumadi, though tactically it was easy for Sun Jun to run diagonally backwards and forwards across the court. Oh, that's brilliant. Just the injection of pace and movement, allowing Sunjun to take this shuttle above the level of the net and just drives it into the corner. No chance for Pomadi. It's on the line. Intelligent play from Pomadi and getting the shuttle spinning. Sunjun plays that lift a little bit flat, which means that Pomadi can intercept it quite short in the court. Thunders it cross court.
Chong. Great retrieving in that rally from Fung Kamadi. Sun Jun going for the same stroke as worked for him a few rallies ago. Perhaps the tumble on the shuttle just making Sun Jun mistime the lift. But follows it up with the most amazing smash. Tremendous angle. Has the ability also to smash that one down the line. Makes it terribly difficult for his opponents to know which way he's going to hit it. on the net getting the short lifts and Mahdi able to play the winning smashes past the retreating Sun Jun Time it's in. Fantastic drop shot. Beautiful angle. Leapt up so aggressively. Kamadi thinking it was going to be the pace attack. Even though he's in a full lunge with an arm outstretched, can't even touch the shuttle. That is so clever from Kamadi. This time just playing the angle shot down, took an awful lot of pace off the smash. And calmly stepping in for the kill. Keystroke was forcing the overhead backhand from Sun Jun. To slant. on hips these are very punishing rallies indeed my goodness that was close both men feeling the pace a tired looking drop shot from Sun Jun. Certainly was. We've got to remember that not only is it the players on this day, it's a culmination of two weeks of physical and mental exertions. So Fung Pomadi now just two points from levelling this final at one game all. brilliant still finding the energy to leap in the air and thunder down the smash from the short lift 
The only difference is Sunjun saving that energy for the winning smash in the opening game. He was putting that kind of effort in to create the opportunities. The crowd don't like the fact that Sun Jun is off court, toweling down from Pomadi. Choosing to remain on court. One thing that Fung Pomadi must watch though, you can see Sun Jun taking a drink is that this match has the potential to go on over an hour and these players could lose a couple of litres of fluid during that time and Fumpamadi must drink even though he wants to stay on court he should still quickly go off take on board some fluid did that in the last rally, saved his energy for the winning smash. Fung Pomadi doing it this rally. This time it's Sun Jun forcing the overhead backhand. And Fung Pomadi burying the weak lift. A number of occasions kill. we've seen Sunjun do that. Come in on the backhand net shot from Pomadi, brush it cross court. Brilliant. Wide. And Fung Pomadi is definitely having more success at the net. long my goodness little wry smile from Fung Pomadi because he knows that his opponent was beaten certainly was there was no way that Sun Jung could reach that shot shots well, huge really. effort from Sun Jun he must be tired and yet he's still in there jumping in the air really exaggerated the shoulder turn in order to get the slice on that shuttle yes. yes once again a clever shot from Fung Pomadi, taking the pace off the smash, just making sure that he clipped it down, got the angle he required. So still with the advantage in the second game, but only just 13-12. Smash. 
thundering this one straight up the center of the court really is pumped up desperately trying to get back into this second game and he's leveled it 13 all from 9 13 down in their second game Sun Jun has battled his way back Retrieving from Sun Jun and it's given the Chinese player match point. He asks to tell down. The umpire says, No, you've got to play on. Good call by the umpire. this time and what a lovely gesture from Fung Pomari smiling at his opponent in the end but Sun Jun has won the world crown the score 15-6 15-13 and he thoroughly deserves the title congratulated by his teammates Sun Jun the world champion for 1999 Sun Jun, a winner of the final in straight sets, now crowned world champion and must really be considered the world's best badminton player. He has beaten Peter Gay Christensen when they have met of late and he has knocked off just about everyone else in the top ten when he's had the opportunity. Sun Jun, a true money player, now world champion in 1999. The ladies' singles final should be a good one. Camilla Martin against China's Dai Yun. <laughs>